quadratic modeling revenue problems. Revenue is going to be the price of an individual item times the number of those items sold. So if we have the price per item, multiply that by the number sold, that will give us the revenue that whoever's selling it gets. Let's take an example. Let's sell airplane tickets, for instance. One airplane ticket cost $250. 250 times one equals 250. But as an incentive for each additional airplane ticket purchased, the purchase price is going to go down by $2. So, if you buy two airplane tickets, they won't cost $250 each, but they will cost $248 each. And 248 times 2 is 496 And if you buy three airplane tickets, okay, one, two, so $246 per ticket, three times 246 is $738. So you see, uh, maybe, maybe if we'd left the price at $250, you know, he'd have more money, but because he's, the seller is reducing the price, he's encouraging more tickets to be sold. So the question is, what's going to be the ideal number of tickets sold? So let's work this out. Suppose there are X tickets sold. The price per ticket is going to be 250 minus 2 times X minus 1. Why is it X minus 1? Because it's in addition to that first ticket. So you only get one $2 off for the second ticket. And you get two $2 off for the third ticket. And three $2 off for the fourth ticket. It's always one less. Simplifying this expression, that's going to be 250 minus 2x plus 2. Or the expression is going to be 252 minus 2x just to simplify it. Let me put that up here. 252 minus 2x. Okay, multiplied by x. That's going to be the revenue. x times 252 minus 2x. Cleaning up the board a little bit and rewriting it. The revenue is x times 252 minus 2x, or 252x minus 2x squared. So a question arises. Suppose for a winter trip, the cost for the tickets was $5,200. The revenue was equal to 5,200. How many tickets? How many tickets? How many tickets were sold for that amount? In other words, 5,200 equals 252x minus 2x squared. How do I solve that? Eventually, I'll use the quadratic formula. First, I'll have to get 2x squared minus 252x plus 5,200 equals 0. Now it's set up for the quadratic formula where A equals 2, B equals negative 252, and C equals 5200. Zero. And you know the quadratic formula. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And just plugging those numbers into your calculator, the value of x 
turns out to be either 26 or 100. In the mathematical model, 26 or 100 makes perfectly good sense. For a typical Lawrence Academy winter room, 26 seems a little bit more reasonable. The next question is, what number of tickets sold produces the most revenue for the buyer? I mean, what would be that ideal number of tickets to get the highest amount of revenue? What we're talking about here is the vertex. We have a quadratic equation, y equals 252x minus 2x squared. And so we have to ask, where's the vertex? For me, this one is easy enough to solve if you factor it out. If you factor this, the result is 2x times 126. That's a funny looking 6 if you ask me. Let's make that look more like a 6. 126 minus x. Set each of those factors equal to 0. Solving for x, x equals 0, or x equals 126. Those are the two zeros of the function. But I'm not really interested in the zeros, even though that's what I figured out. Here's a 0, 0. Here's the other, 126. I'm actually, based on the symmetry of the equation, want to know what the average of 0 plus 126 is, and that's 63. A total of 63 tickets would give the maximum revenue. Or in other words, 252 times 63 minus 2 times 63 squared is going to give the max revenue. Crunching this on the calculator, it gives a total of $7,938. I think that's a little unrealistic by today's standards, but as far as this particular problem goes, it works for me. Here are two for you to try based on this equation. A typical winterum trip has 16 students and two adults. What is their airfare? How much will they spend in airfare given this particular model? The second question is, I noticed that when you sell 126 tickets, the revenue is zero. How come? Why is the revenue zero when you sell 126 tickets? Ciao for now.